good to have you. Hope you are well. Very curious to get your take on this. How big a deal is the taking out of the current Daesh leader? Well, uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal at all. We've seen over the years in our counterterrorism operations that they will quickly regenerate another leader. Uh, and candidly, the next leader may be stronger than Qureshi. So I think the president made the right uh, call in terms of muting his reaction to this. And uh, as the Israelis would say, we've just got to keep mowing the grass. This does not destroy this organization. We just need to keep pressure on it, as we do on other organizations of its kind around the world. You know, this was a precision operation. It was pretty impressive. Took a couple of hours. It looks like we did have a U.S. helicopter damaged and then destroyed. Um, this was by any means a success. How much planning, given the nature of this, would you say went into this? Was this last minute opportunity or is this something that they have been tracking for two years? Well, you can imagine that our Joint Special Operations Forces have been training for this mission continuously, whether it was here or elsewhere or against another target. That's just what the best special operations forces in the world do. Uh, when it happened is always a function of the intelligence and also, candidly, the issue with potential collateral damage on the ground. Uh, I think the collateral damage issue is what drove this to be a ground operation rather than a drone operation. But having said all that, you're right. This is a well-planned, long-trained operation, uh, and it seemed to have been a good success, but th there will be more. Let's talk about Daesh in this area. And le okay, let's look at Syria as a whole. How many of these fighters are likely to remain there? And how much power was this guy likely to wield to the extent that it would affect American security? Well, one of the things we've been able to do with our counterterrorism operation is fight terrorism forward. We're not going to wait for them to come at us. Uh, so we figure the best way to do this is to keep continuous pressure. We've got to find them. ISIS has a tendency to go to sanctuaries and safe havens in areas that don't have a lot of government control. I would expect as long as we have a civil war inside of Syria where there's not government control over these areas in Syria, uh, that they will continue to harbor these types of terrorist organizations. But I think we've also got to recognize that there's a substantial presence inside of Iraq as well. You know, in terms of fighting terrorism, the U.S. obviously has success in these missions that they do, often very quietly. But when it comes to some big ones that have been very public, you know, the pullout of Afghanistan, the targeting of a family that they thought was uh, a fighter carrying explosives was not. Uh, the recent exposure of this operation within the Department of Defense called Talon Anvil that had much, much higher civilian casualties uh, than they were willing to admit for many years. Um, the credibility level worldwide isn't exactly at the highest. Does an operation like this that arguably makes the world a safer place, as the White House stated, does this help? Well, let's be very clear. I think the other reason for a muted response is because, as we used to say in the military, the first reports are usually wrong. So we don't really know 100 percent sure if the civilian casualties were all of those created by Qureshi himself or if there was some inadvertent casualties created by this operations as well. It's important to note that two weeks ago, as a result of uh, some operations that have gone bad like this, uh, Secretary Austin uh, has directed that the military will look at more and more ways to prevent collateral damage. It doesn't matter how good an operation is. If we kill women and children as a result, uh, there will always be a black mark on the operation itself, and that will just be a propaganda victory for those who we fight. Sure. Mark, great to talk to you as always. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay,